Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So I wanted to go over uh, some of the things that I picked up today. So I figured I said, well, I've unpacked some of the stuff already, and uh, I figured, well, I'll show you what I've picked up. So uh, actually, I already put this away. So I would figure I'm gonna start over it now. I like Irish Spring, so I picked up eight more bars of Irish Spring. Okay, uh, I have a lot of soap already on hand. I have, uh, I'll show you too, I mean I have ivory, I got all kinds of soap, okay, but uh, personally me, I'm going to use Irish Spring, I like Irish Spring, alright, so some things I got today, um, it's things that I've been wanting to add to my preps that I have not had in the past, but um, some of it is just redundancy, so one of the things I picked up, I picked up two more gallons of bleach. Now, I picked up two gallons of bleach uh, last week when I went out shopping. But I figured, you know, not, not a bad thing to have on hand considering everything that's going on. Okay. So, one of the things, this is all just bags. So, I'm going to set this over here for right now. Uh, one of the things that I picked up, and I don't think a lot of people really honestly think about, um, if we ever have a true, true SHTF, which we don't know what's going on with this coronavirus, but after everything, we get through it, and then we come out the other side, we still have to live life, okay? Well, there's not going to be any more plastic diapers and stuff like that anymore. You're going to need cloth diapers, all right? So I've been wanting to add these to my preps. So I got 10 in this size, or, well, I actually got 20. So I got two packages of the 24 inch by 27 inch okay and then I picked up 20 there's 10 in each one of the 20 inch by 14 inch so I figure those are nice to have um, because after SHTF uh, people are still gonna have kids that's still gonna happen so having cloth diapers on hand I think is a really smart thing to have Plus, they, can, they have multiple other uses that you could use them for other than just for diapers. All right, so um, I did pick up an 18-pack of uh, Hypo Tough Terry Towels, okay? And I picked up the, uh, the smaller, uh, it's a six-pack of the Terry Towels. You know, use them as washcloths, cleaning people up, whatever, okay? I did get those as well. Uh, one of the things I also picked up, I picked up, uh, you know, the baby wipes. You can use those for a lot of different purposes, okay? 240 wipes. I think they're awesome. So they're fragrance-free. So I picked up 240 count of those. Uh, one of the other things that I picked up, I picked up a couple of hand sanitizers, all right? I think it's good to have on hand, and especially with our current situation, what is happening Having the hand sanitizer is not a bad thing at all. Uh, I picked up some waterproof adhesive tape. I picked up uh, four of those. So I'll show you that. Four of those. Okay. Now, I already have these on hand, but I thought, well, I'm going to pick up some more anyway because I wanted them. So I picked up four more of those just to have. Uh, just just because because I just never I mean I get poison ivy poison oak myself so I know what it's like so you know, I like to make sure I have plenty of those on hand picked up 91 percent uh, rubbing alcohol okay so I picked up four of those I'm gonna come down here so I did pick up um, and like I said obviously I went to Walmart I picked up three boxes of these uh, it's a 200 count of the gloves one size fits most is what the thing says on there so uh, it's a 200 count of the gloves I think that's really super important to have especially with what is going on um, I already had gloves on site but I figure if things are going to be as bad as I personally believe that they're going to be you're not going to have enough examination gloves just to protect yourself so I picked up three of those, so that's, you know, 600 count right there alone, all right? Uh, the rest of this stuff, a lot of it is just basically redundancy stuff. The uh, gauze rolls, I wanted to pick up more of those, so I got some more of those. Uh, I picked up wound dressings, I picked up a few of those. 
extra band-aids. You can never have too many band-aids, so it's a hundred count. I picked up two boxes of those. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I did pick up a few of these uh, stop lead kits. I picked up four of those. Okay. And so I think those are good to have just because you just never know what is going to happen. Uh, surgical dressing, how many are in here? Uh, let's see, there's 12. So I picked up a couple boxes of that. All right, let's see, let's go over the next thing. All right, so I did pick up some new Neosporin, okay? So I picked up that. Uh, I also picked up some hydrocortisone cream, a couple of those. There's uh, some more gauze pads. There's 25 in the box with that. So I picked up those. Uh, I also picked up, let's see what we got here. There's more, more of the gauze pads. And then these ones here, I picked up two of these, and it's uh, Wound Care. It's a variety pack. So there's 25 pads, tape, absorbed sizes. So I just figured why not. So I grabbed a couple of those too. So, got that. Um, I wanted to show you over here. This is what I picked up the other day at the dollar store. Okay? No, wait a minute. That's, no, that's not from the dollar store. Okay. Did I already show those? Yes, those I had to show. Okay. Oh, here's some. Okay, here's what I was looking for. All right. So, the other day at the dollar store I went. Now, right now, that's not going to help protect you from the coronavirus, but something is better than nothing. So they, I, I picked up like four of those. Um, I did pick up more of the examination gloves as well there. Uh, there's ten gloves in a thing, and it was a dollar. So that's why I ended up getting more of the gloves. And so that's why I got those. But uh, so, again, just adding to the preps and trying to add more stuff to have more stuff on hand. I think it's really, really important, okay? Uh, let me show you what else I had picked up here. All right, so I picked up picked up four more cans of Repel just for the bugs. Uh, I think that's important to have. You know, it's a good thing to have on hand anyway, and I know I did not have enough. You know, uh, I did pick up, and actually I can, I don't know if it's going to be light enough to show you in the shop, but uh, I picked up the 6 mil plastic. It's a 500 foot sheet of the 6 mil plastic, you know, the or plastic, to make um, an isolation room. Okay, so I, I picked up, uh, actually I picked up two of those. Uh, I grabbed more uh, Gorilla Tape. So I grabbed two more of the Gorilla Tape. And I already have Gorilla Tape on hand, but I just wanted to have more. Uh, I picked up, actually, when I was there, um, I think I told you guys, I'm not sure if I told you or not, I recently picked up a crossbow, and so I wanted more bolts for the crossbow, so I picked up uh, more bolts for that, and uh, some some heads, and uh, also, um, you know, the, the kind of heads you'd use for hunting deer, and also the other heads for practice and stuff like that, too, So because they're the screw-in type. So I picked up more of those as well. Um, this is something actually I had picked up the other day. I don't think I showed you guys that. The regular bucket. So I got that as well the other day. I picked that up. When I was getting uh, more feed and stuff for the, uh, the dogs and the cats and also for the birds. Um, like I said, guys, I'm a big believer in practicing what I preach. Uh, I believe it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, medical supplies, having medical preps is never, ever, ever a bad thing. So the more medical stuff that you have that you can have on hand, I don't ever see that as being a bad thing. So I did go a little crazy today, I'm not going to lie. Uh, what is going on has me concerned, and I'm not going to lie about that either. So again, um, okay, so let's say I just went out and I bought all this stuff, right? And everything blows over for this event. Oh, false alarm, not, nothing bad happens, whatever. Uh, medical supplies are good to have no matter what. So I'm a big believer, again, um, in preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. Again, the examination gloves, really good to have on hand. Really happy to get the ones that I got and to get as many as I was able to get. I bought all three of the boxes of the 200 count that they had. There was plenty more uh, of the latex-free 
200 count and there was 100 count boxes and stuff like that but I figured if I got three 200 count boxes I'm good to go so uh, again uh, a big big believer in being prepared being as ready uh, I wanted to get the stuff to be able to, like the six mil plastic to be able to make the isolation room I think that that was really really important especially what is going on right now with everything so if you have to quarantine people uh, being able to have that barrier if you like if I had to quarantine um, people in my daughter's room I could take that plastic and I could put that over there so um, in the doorway I could have like two areas that you, could, you would have to go through for extra protection and have that sick people in there so you know that's just an example uh, you know I could turn the greenhouse into a quarantine area if I had to okay which would probably make a lot more sense I just don't know how warm we could keep that in there for anybody right at the you know at the moment but um, again being prepared and being ready for whatever is coming and uh, the, the possibility that this could be something much much worse than it is uh, I think that that's important so I did want to show you guys this and uh, you know and put it out here so this video is actually going to go up on Friday and it's going to be uh, the 31st of January 2020 um, this is actually still Thursday night but I'm doing this video now because I want to share it with you um, so this is now going to be a done video obviously so you, this will go up tomorrow and I just wanted to share with you uh, my preps that I picked up today uh, again remember guys you know this is uh, this is not a game what's going on here and I will say that I'm very very concerned uh, there's a lot we're not being told, which is not a good thing as well. So uh, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, you know, with you have a ship with 7,000 people in Italy that has been isolated, and they're not letting those people leave. Uh, you know, so that's that's another thing that's very very concerning. You know, what is really going on? What do the powers that be really know about this virus, and how deadly really is it? Okay, we're getting a lot of different information. So uh, again. The more medical supplies that you can get and here's the thing guys and I really want to stress this okay as things continue to get worse these things are not going to be available at the store they're going to be gone people are going to buy them up like crazy um, I was actually looking for more and I'll show you I was looking for more of the N95 masks okay I was looking for more of those uh, I have two 15 count boxes so I have 30 of the N95 masks all right but uh, I was looking for more and if they had had if they'd had them I would have bought them I didn't see any uh, I did see hold on a second for me. I did see this kind of mask they did have those kind at Walmart but I didn't pick up any more of those because I already have some of those but again um, you know things are getting scarce already so that window of opportunity is closing. Um, I will say that. So just really stay on top of stuff, guys, okay? Um, be safe. And uh, I'm going to put this video up. So when you see this video, remember also I will be live streaming Friday night as well at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my normal night uh, to live stream. So, uh, you know, look for me tonight. And I'm going to say tonight because you're going to see this video tomorrow. Um, look for me tonight, Friday night, for the live stream, okay? So I'm going to jump off here from now. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? I hope everybody's doing well. Please, guys, be safe, all right? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.